Hey my friends, welcome back to this series on electrostatic. This is video number two and we are going to talk, do a little practice on the electric forces here. So in the previous video, we had spoken about what is Coulomb's law and we tried to compare it with Newton's law of gravitation and we did a couple of questions. The, the purpose of this class, again as before, is not to prepare you for any competitive exam, any exam. The purpose of the class is to make, your clear, make you clear your concepts about the electric forces here. So the questions today you are going to solve are more like conceptual questions. You have to think about them. And I, I think I have five or six questions and obviously I'll give you one homework question. So, so let's get started. So why waste time on, on discussion? So first of all, a quick recap of what is Coulomb's force versus the Newton's force. Very big amount of similarity there in the kind of expression you see there. G M1 M2 by D square and K Q1 Q2 by D square. But in my previous video, I spoke about at least four differences that you can see here. So if you have not seen that video, please go back and see that video before you try to solve the questions today. So as always, we are going to start with the homework question that I gave you in the past class. I'm sure all of you did them and I can see so many responses that I got in the comments box already. So, so, so let's try to do this together here. So let me move my, my picture here so that there's more room. So there are two charges, no picture, no solution. Basically, whenever you try to solve any question, you make a picture of it to get, get a visual understanding of what's going on. So there is positive three coulombs here and there is a positive eight micro coulombs, not coulombs, but micro coulombs. So again, if you have not done this, it's a good idea to pause the video here Try to do the question yourself and then come back and see what I'm doing here. There is some force between them and that force is given to me as 40 Newtons. And then, then they're not telling me what is the distance so I can safely assume a distance of D. So let, let's see what happened just now. What happened was 40 is equal to K times 3 times 8 divided by the distance square. So this is over now. Now what they're saying is let's give negative 5 coulomb charge to all, all both of them. So when I give negative 5 coulombs to this, this becomes negative 2 coulombs. Negative to micro coulombs, I'm really sorry. So all this you can take care of it by, by typing 10 to the power minus 12 here. Because micro is 10 to the power minus 6, you're multiplying double. But that's not the point. We're trying to compare things. When you compare things, as long as the units are same, it doesn't matter. But, but let's be technically right there. So there is negative 2 here. And then you add negative 5 to 8. See, if you're not clear what is going on here, there was a charge of 3 coulombs. When I add negative 5 to that, I get 3 minus 5. That is minus 2 micro coulombs here. Now, 8 minus 5 gives me 3 micro coulombs. So the distance between them stays the, the same. So that is D now. So how much is the new force? Let's call new force as equal to F new is equal to K times negative two. So that negative actually makes it an attractive force. So earlier it was a repulsive force. Now it's an attractive force. So basically uh, these two choices are out because you don't have, this has to be an ultra force, the opposite force now. So now you have two coulombs here and you have three coulombs here divided by D square. So F nu comes out to be 6k over d square. Or pehle kitna tha? Let's completely do the 3 times 8 is 24. So 24k over d square. And then I plugged in this to be, to be technically right. But I don't have to do that because I'm comparing these. But let me do it here also. That was 24. This is 6k. So this is one fourth of the force. Earlier it was 40 newtons, now it is 10 newtons. So your solution, the answer for this is negative 10 newtons. And congratulations if you did it earlier. But even if you did not do that, that's that's all right. We are here to learn. There are many questions we are going to do today and you're going to learn more concepts. So let's go a little slow from with a new question here. I would advise that everybody try this. Do not look at the solution I'm doing. Please try it yourself before you see what I do. Pause the video right away. Okay, so I'm hoping you have paused the video and then you tried it yourself and then we are, we are working on this together. So compare what you did and I'm very sure you did it right. So there are two charged spheres separated by a distance of D and there is a force between them. 
So again, again, make make pictures Q1 and Q2. There are two charges separated by some distance d, and there is a force of F between them. So, how much force? Again, whenever the the point of dielectric uh, and all this comes in, you're supposed to write all this funny kind of the 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 version of that k, one by four pi epsilon naught, where epsilon naught symbolizes it signifies that th th there's air or vacuum between the charges. So this was your original force Q1 Q2 divided by d cos square. Right? Now they're saying you fill and, and this question similar to this question we had done in part one of the series. This is a recap of that. So very similar question. So there there is a liquid. Is ke beech mein liquid dal of dielectric constant k. So what they're telling you is there is a liquid of epsilon r of two. So the force nu. Let's talk about force nu. Force nu is equal to one by four pi epsilon naught epsilon r q1 q2 by d square Ab isme kya? everything else is same except that there is a 2 coming in here so force nu is whatever you had divided by 2 so that's your new force so again if you fill in a dielectric of dielectric constant k the force reduces to 1k times of whatever it was right nothing to memorize it's all coulomb's law so let's go to the next question here. And again, I would advise that you pause the video, try this, think about it. This is not an exam. Take one second, two second, one minute, 15 minutes, whatever it takes. No rush at all. We are trying to learn concept here. Okay, welcome back. So two charges, one microcoulombs, five microcoulombs, separated by a distance of D. Panalo, even though you don't have to draw this in this question, it's so easy. But let's still do that. Positive 1 micro coulomb here. Positive 5 micro coulombs here. Separated by some distance of D. No, we are not interested in this data, but they've given, so let's write it down. Placed in isolation, no other charge close to them. So nothing else is affecting them. So now if charge of 1 micro coulomb experiences a force of F, F, how much is the force on 5 micro coulombs? My friend, Newton's third law, equal and opposite force. There's no calculation needed here. It's more like this. This is a watch. Earth is pulling it down with some force. This pulls it up by the same force, mg. So, so let, let's take, a, take another look at it. So there's a ball of 2 kilograms. Earth pulls it down with 2 times g. Let's take g as 10. So 20 newtons. So the ball pulls the earth up by 20 newtons. It's always equal and opposite force. Forces come in pair. Newton's third law is what you use here. No electrostatics here. It's, it's plain Newtonian physics. Next question. Again, I'm saying these are all conceptual questions. It's, it's not like you don't need a lot of calculations here maybe, but, but you got to understand the concepts before you can work on it. Take your time, pause the video, think about it, return back. You will only learn if you try to do them yourself. No rectification, no memorization, nothing. Isko thoda sa move kar dete hai, huh? So that we have more room there. Haan, bhi, chal. So welcome back. So drawing shows a positive and negative point charge. Negative charge is huge or not greater at least. This, this is a bigger charge. Let me change the color of the ink. This is big charge. And this is a small charge. Now they're saying where on the line passing through the so basically we are interested in this line where on this line is one spot where total electric field is zero electric field we are going to do in the next session uh, coming up in a couple of days from now but basically what the the question here is if let's say I put some charge Q here the force on that charge has to be zero so should I put that Q here or should I put this Q here or should I put this Q here? Or should I put this Q here? Kaha rakhu ke uspe total force zero ho jai. Let, let's go by concept. No calculation needed here. Let's say I put a charge of Q here. Because of positive charge, it is being repelled here. Because of the positive charge being repelled here. Now, because of the negative charge, it is being attracted here. Thik hai na? Ye concept hai. Pahle mein samjha du karna kya hai. Uske baad, if I if I put it here, let's say, because of positive charge, it is being repelled here. Because of the negative charge, it is being attracted here. I'm just putting a positive charge. 
if i put a charge here because of positive charge it will be repelled here because of negative it will be attracted here. so these are the different scenarios and because of this you have to find the net force is zero ab sabse pehle simplest case is this let's say anywhere between this i put the charge anywhere doesn't matter iske paas ya iske paas doesn't matter there are two forces on this because of positive charge there is a force in this direction due to the positive charge because of the negative charge negative charge will attract this again there is a force in this direction these forces can never cancel out it is impossible so that is why there is no point between these two charges where can you put a third charge and there is a force of zero ab let's look at in this area in this zone इस जोन में थोड़ा लग रहा है क्योंकि बिकॉज ऑफ पॉजिटिव चार्ज दर इज अ फोर्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ पॉजिटिव चार्ज बिकॉज ऑफ नेगेटिव चार्ज इट विल बी अट्रैक्टेड इन दिस डायरेक्शन बट लुक एट दिस कैन दे कैंसिल आउट नो बिकॉज रिमेंबर कूलम्स फोर्स इज के टाइम्स द चार्ज द चार्ज वन चार्ज टू डिवाइडेड बाई डिस्टेंस स्क्वायर नॉ नेगेटिव चार्ज इज क्लोज टू दिस एंड इट इज बिगर ऑल्सो to think about negative charge is big here distance is small overall the force because of negative charge is big so what i'm trying to say in other words is this force will always be bigger than this force because positive charge ek to pehle hi chota hai upar se dur hai uska influence waise hi kam ho gaya to to there is no way you can cancel out forces in this zone so the only thing remains is the left side let's look in this zone what happens here because of positive charge there is a force here because of negative charge there is a force here yes they can cancel out i'll be able to figure out where because we can say this negative charge bada hai but uska distance bhi bada hai to q upar bada ho gaya distance bada ho gaya overall effect cancel ho sakta hai so to the left of the positive charge and congratulations if you did that if not then that's fine that's fine no worries just practice more on these तभी मैं कह रहा हूं स्लो डाउन डोंट रश ऑन डूइंग दिस क्वेश्चंस लुक एट द अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ गेटिंग टू डू दिस गुड क्वेश्चंस यूज द अपॉर्चुनिटी पॉज द वीडियो यूज द अपॉर्चुनिटी टेक 15 मिनट्स 20 मिनट्स जो लगता है करो नाउ टू थ्री पॉइंट चार्जेस हियर है ना फाइंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ नेट फोर्स ऑन बी लॉ ऑफ सुपरपोजिशन पहले तो आई एम गोइंग टू इग्नोर दिस है ही नहीं दिस डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ ए आई एम गोइंग टू फाइंड द फोर्स so because of it they have equal magnitudes by the way so let's say all of them are q so there is a force in this direction because of a and that force is k times q q by d square you know assuming the distance uh, between them is d now that's a repulsive force now because of c let's say because of c i'm going to ignore this because of c there is a force in this direction the force is k and again i'm telling you there is no calculation needed this is a conceptual question no calculation needed here so ye the formula likh diya there is a force here there is a force here now look looks like okay i have to add these vectors and find the angle using the formula you don't really have to because look at how symmetry how much symmetry there is now if this angle was 60 degrees what i'm claiming is this angle is 60 and this is your maths this is not even physics this angle is 60 and this angle is also 60 if you don't understand this i would advise you brush up a little alternate angle corresponding angles and all that so these two angles are 60 now look at the green force the green force can be resolved here let's call these forces forces as f and a magnitude to same hai. so this is f cos 60 apni photo mein idhar kar deta hu because it's coming in the way yeah ha ab theek hai so f cos 60 this is f cos 60 degrees green ki baat ho rahi hai and then green has a component of f sin 60 here now talk about the blue blue is so much symmetric here this is blue blue has f cos 60 here and then f sin 60 here now don't you think these sign components cancel out cross cross there are two forces equal and opposite to each other ek upar ek niche they cancel out so let's let's do that with black ink ye ye cancel so overall there are two forces and this is the direction of the force so the net force on b is equal to 2 times of f which was k q q by d square multiplied by cos 60 which is which is 1 by 2 so cos 60 b 1 by 2 ho gaya 
I mean, the question is not asking you, but but this is the magnitude of the force. So overall, the direction of the net force on B is positive x-axis. That's it. Kitana simple, there's no calculation needed. It's all resolving vectors and seeing, okay, these two cross out and these will add up. So let's try the next question in the series here. Again, very easy, very, very easy. Pause the video, Lagara Thoda Rocket Science. It's, it's one of the easy questions here. Conceptual, that's it. Okay, welcome back. I'm, I'm sure you tried the question and let's do it together now. So a point, kya uh, To make the net force on charge at point A along the vertical direction. So this force because of three is already in vertical direction. So we don't care. Right? Now there is a force in this direction. Huh? Because of this, there is a force in this direction. This is a straight line tool use. Kar leta, because thoda sa, yeah. So there is a force in this direction which is already in vertical direction. So we, we are good with that. Now the problem is this force. This force is going to give you a force in horizontal direction. Usko kisi tarah cancel out karna because the net force has to be vertical. So there's a vertical force blue. I don't really care about it. It's already vertical. Green force is horizontal. Somebody has to cancel that out. Who is that somebody? That somebody can be somewhere here. Because think about it. If there is a force in this direction, let's say there's a force in this direction, uska jo cos component, let's call this theta. So that force can be resolved as F cos theta. So as long as this and this cross out, F sine theta and that force will be equal in the vertical direction. We are good. Okay. Here the concept clear as of at least. Right. So what I'm trying to say now is if I put some charge there and that is what you have to find. So let's say this is theta and then I put a charge of Q there, which is still unknown. I do not know how much, but that charge has to pull this. It has to be negative first of all, because if it pulls it in that direction, that can be resolved as that force times cos theta, if I can make sure that this, this cross out, then sine theta the vertical, if blue be vertical, everything will be vertical. So let's talk about it. That charge is Q. Kitana force lagaiga wo. A force lagaiga K times, and I'm not doing all the calculations. You deal with the calculations. K times Q, which is unknown, times of 3, and that Q is negative. That's why it's, it's an attractive force, divided by distance square. My friends, now this is mathematics sixth or fifth level fifth level i think right so pythagoras theorem i don't know fifth or sixth whatever so d square plus 4 d square is that red thingy so red thingy is 17 d square this is the force in that direction cos theta up cos theta kya hai? cos theta cos theta is base which is 4 d divided by square root of 70 so cos theta hata ke 4d by root 17d. This is the horizontal component. That has to balance out the green force. So green force, kitna pehle to green force likh lo. Green force was that this all has to be equal to k times uh, 3 times 3 divided by 4d ka whole square. That is all. You cross out k and then you cross out d squares and all that. Simplify this, you get the value of k. That's it. Oh yeah, that's it. So again, go by the concepts, try to learn concepts. Don't have to do bulk number of questions. Thode question karo, achche se karo. Let, let's do the next question. And this is the last question in today's class. Time is running out. Meri photo kaha rakhu mein? Photo yaan rakhu mein. Physics fundas ke upar. Kyoi jagai nahi hai. Very easy question. Trying to, trying to mix two concepts here. Pause the video. Try the question yourself. Welcome back. So, so basically there are two charges here and the spring is at its natural length because koi force hi hai, spring will be happy at that natural length. When you give the sphere some charges, repulsion, repulsion. And repulsion kya karega? There's a force of repulsion but as the force is taking these in this direction, spring is getting compressed. If the spring is compressed, spring applies a force. Concept dekh with There's a force of repulsion here so the spring is getting compressed, but that's as the spring is getting compressed, it is increasing the force in this direction. Force on the spring is Kx. So at some point, they, they agree 
on the amount of force when kx is equal to the force of repulsion equilibrium so let's 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 see what happened just now so this ball or this sphere came here and this ball came here now they're saying the distance doubled I mean, the distance kitna ho gaya 0.1 meter ho gaya theek hai thoda sa maths bhi use ho gaya isme it's not purely physics so the distance is doubled now saying find the, the spring force what is happening here is the concept look at the concept concept is the spring constant k wo wala k ye apna coulomb wala k nahi k times the extension is equal to k wo jo coulomb wala k hai usko aise likh de do 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 by the distance square yehi to concept hai force of the spring has to be equal to the electrostatic force to so, yehi karna hai to so, let's do it together spring ka force kitna hai spring ka constant k i have to find i do not know extension or compression in the spring see look at the symmetry here this is 0.05 so far to so, kitna compress hua total 0.05 तो यहां से यहां तक जो डिस्टेंस है दिस इज पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव है ना पॉइंट जीरो इट गलत लिख दिया पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव मीटर कंप्रेस हुआ इफ यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस आस्क मी द कमेंट सेक्शन आई विल रिप्लाई बैक सो के टाइम जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव कंप्रेस हुआ स्प्रिंग सो ईच स्प्रिंग वन वे टॉक वन स्प्रिंग इट्स अप्लाइंग दिस मच फोर्स दैट फोर्स हैज टू बी इक्वल टू नाइन टाइम्स टेन टू द पावर नाइन टाइम्स द चार्ज चार्ज इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स Another charge is 1.6 divided by distance का square. Distance हो गया 0.1 का whole square. But done. इसको अब अब solve कर लो and you find the constant of the spring. That's it. हो गया खत्म. Concept समझो उसके बीच में. Don't just mechanically do question. So now now as I always try to give you some homework. Here is an homework one homework question. Try this very good question. Very easy question. Easiest question in today's class. two particles of equal mass and charge are at a distance of d they do not experience any force kaise ek to gravitational force lag raha hai attractive ek unka wo lag raha hai electrostatic force repulsive so attractive force has to be repulsive force so what is the ratio of q per m so that this happens very easy question try it out in couple of days i'm going to start doing electric field and and please come prepare thoda sa padh kar aao but if you, even if you're not prepared that's why i i am going to start from the very basic thing but before you leave please make sure and first of all here is a very beautiful quote here do not limit your challenges challenge your limits meri ye limit hai mere ko usse aage karna hai take it as a challenge now now please share this knowledge with your friends because the purpose of physics fundas is Uh, free knowledge, free education. You know, you don't have to pay for getting educated. Education has to be free. So please spread the word with your neighbors and friends, classmates. It's it's really a big help you're doing for them. अपने पास मत रखो knowledge. जितनी बाटोगे उतनी बढ़ेगी तुम्हारे में. You will actually feel good about it. So thank you. I'll see you in few days about electric fields. Bye bye.